Yeah, you know how we do. Another day, still doing it. But <laughs> I know y'all waiting. Boy, it's coming. But show sure nothing. Let me leave you with another note. <laughs> you know you ain't start having no problems till Master Splinter came home. <laughs> it did. You was recycling dig riders. You you ride here, you got one nigga what hanging up on the round till he caught a case. And had an open case with the man and then hang up under you with the, the, the same nigga. He come running to you with his old boom joint smoking, bet $5, shoot $5, fake gambling ass. But he's sitting up under you. Did. You had all these other washed up ass niggas. These niggas been in and out of jail ever since they've been 13. RYDC, they gone. They, they, all their 20s, they gone. Man, the only thing them niggas know is wake up in the morning, shine your boots, buff your flow, make your bed, eat shit on the shank, and look at TV in the day room. <laughs> them niggas wasn't nobody in the 90s. Niggas riding around them cheap ass five hundred and thousand dollar ass Buick the Sabres with an ounce cut up in twenties. Who nigga ain't even know how to cook no dope. <laughs> then you you got this rat nigga come home and you name some Wayne's after this nigga. <laughs> Then, hey, then this would trip me out. He, 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 you, you so faulty, you got a grill full of pork cooking it. And you know you'll eat a pork chop sandwich quick as a motherfucker. You only talking about it's your law. <laughs> but you were doing too much phony shit, man. Too much. But you know who your confidential informant is because them folks been watching you ever since that boy came home. Now get your ass out of here and make a video and say I'm lying. But I know the whole play. And I'm going to expose your ass. You and that nigga. <laughs> but no, I'm going to let you expose him. Hey, hey, man. Listen, man. I know you always had something against me. I have to send you home with your high black. Remember that during middle school? Pop, remember? All y'all long showmans, man. If you know Pop, Harold Senior asked him. Remember that last time Pop came up there? I was sitting in the office. Pop said, that's the one keep jumping on you. But then, I'm gonna show you how phony you is. When I was coming down and putting on 2009, 2010, you were seeing me and scratch your arm out longer than expect the gadget. You calling me a real nigga and taking your hat off and saluting me. Then soon the screw come home. <laughs> you nigga, you niggas all downtown on the riverfront like y'all on dates and shit, popping them little bottles of Don. <laughs> this this old police ass nigga, he he had on Levi's with a balloon ass polo. Oh man. And then you had too many rats up there, man. You had you you had too many rats up there, man. But I'm gonna tell you something. You deserve 
You you remember that show, World's Dumbest Criminals? Well, you set the record. You 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 had your pop say, huh? Gave you some Eminem with them, and then you wanna go turn into Nino Brown. <sighs> But you hang around these old rat ass washed up ass niggas who done wrote more stories on niggas than Dr. Seuss and Donald Gone. Hey man, these, these niggas done wrote more books on niggas than Donald Gone. <laughs> but you hanging up under these old soft ass, booty banded ass niggas, undercover boys. But y'all stay tuned. Cause boy, look him. <laughs> hey, hey, did didn't I tell y'all Master Splinter was on a mission when he came home? Now, I want y'all niggas to ask y'all self, how in the fuck you your nigga was running from a federal case? Caught another case while he was on the run in the nigga house who he left with with the pounds in chain gang right now doing a bid from up here in Atlanta. And you got the ex-police chief get caught on a commercial gambling charge and still doing time. And you mean to tell me this nigga beat him out? <laughs> You mean to tell me y'all niggas couldn't add that up? I tell you, man. But, Punky Brewster, back to you. You know your problems didn't start until Master Splinter came home. <laughs> hey, you, hey, man. I tell you, man, you sad, and then you got nigga hanging up under you, who got open cases. This nigga just had an open case and sit around you talking about, yeah, around telling, nigga, how, how round telling, and nigga, you jump on Facebook and for lock your ass back up and let you back out talking about coronavirus. And then he go hang up under you. Now you got a cage, Punky Brewster. Hey, man. I, I mean, nigga, you went to recycling dick riders. You, you even had one nigga sitting up there. You riding in the car with this lame-ass nigga. He, he, he let a nigga slap him in G2. Make him see I, I told the story. Niggas know I ain't lying. Nigga know I ain't lying. Shit. Lemonhead, Tony Yo, Shortcake, God bless the dead, brother was in there. Shit, nigga, he the nigga had to stand next to you while you used the phone. Then I remember, nigga, we had a conversation. I thought you was selling dope. I, I'm, I'm sitting to the table. I'm hearing, hearing this nigga talk about all the burglarizing stories. I said, I thought y'all nigga was selling dope. And then, on pearls and shit. No, man, we were burglarizing. I got up from the table from that nigga. And then two days later, you got slapped at the skin table by, by a nigga from Colquitt County. Nigga from Willacoochee, Georgia, some way, country boy. You get on the phone to my baby. I'm trying to come home to you. That's why I let a nigga slap me, nigga, please. Well, it was a nigga from Savannah and they getting ready to fuck you. <laughs> Buster, <laughs> coward ass nigga, but you riding with this old washed up ass nigga. I tell you, Punky Brewster, man, but y'all just stay tuned, man. I'm finna drop that motherfucker, man. I'm finna expose. <laughs> And, 
and, and then you went and leased a Rolls Royce round Savannah and still got the less pussy.